Hey, welcome to the old computer museum and um, we're going to talk a little bit about a very old friend of mine uh, that I've uh, added an emulator now with the Vice uh, 64 emulator you also have emulators for other computers or other Commodore computers and uh, so this is the VIC-20, the Commodore VIC-20 the Commodore VIC-20 is the first computer I've ever ever owned and um, I had that computer back in uh, about 1983 I would say that I've got that computer and uh, it's actually one of those uh, it's the first Commodore computer that started selling really really a lot uh, just before the Commodore 64, the famous Commodore 64, which was really, really something incredible. It's an 8-bit machine, and it was constructed by Commodore International. Uh, had 3.5K of RAM, basic RAM, that was called, because all the programs would go into that 3.5K and uh, there were some expansion memory expansions that were uh, available and uh, the memory expansions were um, up to 16k and I remember I had a 16 kilobyte memory expansion which would give a total of something like 19,000 um, basic RAM bytes the main processor is a um, 6502 uh, which is a uh, Commodore design processor running at 1 megahertz and um, it uh, was launched in June 1980 it became popular because it was the first computer that was actually uh, sold through um, some stores like Sears and Toys R Us and stuff like that. Toys R Us didn't exist back then, I believe. But, uh, you know, it's the first mass computer sold through uh, regular retailers like Sears, for example. Uh, it was less than $300, so it was one of the first really affordable computers that ever existed. And uh, actually, there's a uh, one of the ads that played on TV um, was with William Shatner and it was a little Star Trek type um, ad that would um, actually talk about the Commodore computer, Commodore VIC-20 computer. It's um, until the Commodore 64 arrived this was probably the best-selling computer in the world and um, two and a half million Commodore VIC-20s were sold in the world and at the max um, there were 9,000 VIC-20s coming out of the assembly line every day so uh, it's pretty amazing considering back then the problem with this computer was the fact that it lacked a graphic chip but through some really really amazing and um, intelligent programming um, the letters were reprogrammed to look like other t types of characters and uh, would be put together and actually make like a graphics screen if you want which was really amazing It could plug into a um, tape drive, a little tape drive, and also through a uh, later on through a disk drive, a floppy disk, five and a quarter floppy, uh, which was a 1540 floppy disk. And later on, when the 1541 came out for the Commodore 64, it was compatible with the VIC-20 and could be used. And uh, the VIC name comes from the uh, video interface chip of the screen 
the original name wanted to be Vixen. And so when we turn it on, what we see is this. This was the main Commodore VIC-20 screen. And you had this uh, little interface here. Where you would type in programs. So for example, if I type 10 print hello YouTube and put this and 20 go to 10 and I'll actually put a little space here uh, at the end before YouTube um, one what that's not what I wanted to do sorry I'll go back here do spaces to space there we go I remember my programming well from back then and now I type run here we go hello YouTube and uh, you could uh, have these little programs running around and so this is the Commodore VIC-20 with its 3.5K that was that's the emulation through a vice which is called uh, XVIC and uh, works on all versions of Windows and available free so if you want to get back to your VIC-20 uh, there are some uh, spots online where you can have VIC-20 software actually and uh, we'll actually review some old VIC-20 games um, on um, this channel of course and uh, it had two joystick parts which were compatible with the uh, Atari joysticks so it was pretty cool you could use your I remember back then having a uh, Gemini console that was a clone of the Atari 2600 and using the Gemini joysticks on my Commodore VIC-20 and later on on my Commodore 64 until I scrapped them because I was just playing too many games so uh, an old friend the Commodore VIC-20 and um, it's nice to remember and uh, if you had one of those uh, Give me your uh, impressions. Did you uh, enjoy it? Did you have did you have great stories or memories using your old Commodore VIC-20 computer? Uh, let's uh, talk about it. I sure did, and I sure used it a lot, and uh, really, really had a lot of fun with this computer. And um, you know, it was brand new. Also, is the first time I had a computer, so it's there's something special about it. If you enjoy our videos, click the subscribe button, you'll be informed of new videos online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. And if you have um, requests of consoles, apps, and uh, stuff you want to see, let us know. We'll try to put a video online. And um, if you enjoy old computers and um, emulation stuff, Take a look at our videos. We have lots of uh, stuff online. We have real machines running like the Atari ST, the Amiga 500. We have emulation stuff with uh, Commodore 64 and um, Atari 2600, Super Nintendo, and lots, lots more coming up. So uh, stay tuned and uh, subscribe to our channel. So thanks for watching and hope to see you again on the old computer museum. Bye bye.